Yeah, I, I think you and I may have maybe. sold this out last season, but we've got it back. We did, and we love it. Why? Because it's just, its first of all, it's, it's charming, it's very functional, it's very versatile. You can do a lot of different things with it. What we've got here is we've got two levels, uh, our two di different shelf areas here. And then we have the lattice work in the back, and then we have a bar to hang things in the front. Yep. Comes so, with the hooks. Little hooks. Five hooks. So, yeah, little less yeah. hooks come with it as well. So we call it a potting bench because, obviously, what a great way to do your gardening. Exactly. You have a place to put your soil, your pots, your tools can hang all here but Peter you could use this for anything yeah I know when you see it, it it looks great it's such a great look to it and it is and you know I guess first and foremost a potting bench and that's what's nice about it and here you can see where you might have it in the garage you might have it out back on the patio but you're able to have that perfect countertop height to do your planting but this is when I think it really starts to you know make its name is that you can use it as a serving table Look at that. guy let's step right over there okay. we're watching this right now but that's the other thing it folds up so it's easy to store it makes such a difference there again you're seeing it out back as that potting bench if you don't have a specific place you can bring it out of the garage set it up as your potting bench fold it back up when you're done and put it back in the garage but this is when i think it's fantastic yeah, check it out everybody you everybody's grilling you've got that barbecue what if this is right next to that barbecue grill and you can have everything you need right there you can have all your grilling tools you can have some lanterns you can have some beverage items mm -hmm. and the chips and the plates and the, the condiments yeah. all of that on here and still even have your other uh barbecue tools and your your uh Help me out, guys. Yeah, your charcoal. charcoal. There we go. <laughs> your various blank stuff on the for, your, for your cookout. Yeah, but that. But look at this. And this is why we say. And by, and by the way, if, you know, it folds up if you don't want to use it in the off season. You know, like winter time now. But here's what I do. I bring it inside. Use it as a bar. It's perfect as a bar or as a storage cabinet if you want to put, you know, whatever various curios or whatever you have to collect or plates or anything you need to put on there. You can utilize that as well. This, this sells out every time we bring it back. I only have 700 to go around. Uh, it comes already pre-stained. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it once you get it. If you want to paint it or whatever, you can do that. I love the color that it is. I'm going to walk over yeah. over towards Pete. Uh, so here it is all clean. And the, the nice thing is, too, is that, as we said, when you need, need to, to, to save space, you can actually fold this thing. Yeah, because if you want to put it on the patio, you want to put it on that deck while right. you're grilling, but you may not want it there all the time. You want to use it as that serving table. That might be my favorite thing mm -hmm. for it. It can fold up. So you see, all you have to do is loosen that brace down the bottom, yeah. and then it just folds up just like That's that, it. guy. And now you can store it so much well, more give easily. Give an idea sideways, Peter, yeah. too. And it's not. And by the way, it's not heavy. No, not heavy it's at all. It's just a little bit big. There off, you can see it folds up, so you can right. lean this but behind the door one in the person, garage. One oh, yeah. person can easily move this around. It's not that heavy. I think it weighs like 30 or 40 pounds. It's not real super heavy. I don't even think it's that much. I think it's 31. Okay, That's what I'll, I think that it is. But anyway, uh, and then when you're ready to go, go ahead. You do it, Pete. Just go there. That way, just a tiny oh, bit, towards my me. friend. Thank you. There you go, pal. There we go. And then you just bring that down, and then lock that brace it. will lock into place. You've got the bottom shelf, you've got the top shelf. It's sturdy, yeah. it's strong. You've got that lattice work again, so you can hang things there if you wanted to. But it comes with five of those metal hooks, so you can use that for the barbecue tools. You can use that for the gardening tools. I mean, it is a substantial piece of furniture. And I like what you said, guy. You could stain it if you wanted it to be much darker. Mm -hmm. You could stain it if yeah. you wanted to. Uh, prime it and paint it. You could do that. If you want to use it outdoors on a permanent basis, you could seal it. You could polyurethane it, it exactly. which I would do if you're going to. I might do that anyway, just because, you know, to seal it, if you're going to be putting food and stuff like that on there, might not be a bad idea. Sure. Give it a quick spray, but it's totally up to you. You don't have to do that. Uh, listen, I only have 700 to go around. This is on FlexPay, so it's what, 49 something? 49.95. And I believe, Jared, am I wrong or is the shipping free on this today? Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, fantastic. So it it is free shipping as well today. So enjoy that. So really limited just by uh, you know what, what what your lifestyle is like. If you're a barbecuer, be a great barbecue table. If you're a fixer, a carpenter, you could use it indoors. You could put it in your in your tool shed if you'd like. You could put it in the garage, in the basement, in the attic, wherever you have space to do your little fixer up things. Uh, if yeah. you are indeed a uh, person who loves to garden, we've got this one set up as the perfect garden area. And what I like too, Pete, is it's the right size. It's not too oh, big yeah. that you wouldn't, you'd be like, hey, this is going to take up the whole space, but it's not so little that you everything is crammed. No, exactly. If you can leave it set up, I think it's going to be perfect where you can have that permanent potting bench. Huh. If it is in the garage or if it is going to be on that back patio somewhere, when you can leave it set up, you can see how great it looks, how much room there is, all the large plants, the watering can, your spraying row down the bottom, mm -hmm. all your tools up here. You can hang everything from the bar up here, your plants, your gloves, everything on here is set to go. But it's also so that it's that perfect.
perfect working height. I mean, maybe you're like me and you're past the days of being down on your hands and knees and bent over trying to do your planting. Here, if you want to pot those plants, you can do it right up on the bench. It's at that perfect height. It makes it easier. And if you can't leave it set up, it's only a couple of minutes to fold it up and put it back in the garage. Matter of it's, seconds. It's and great. And it comes, and listen, it, it, honestly, to put it together, it, uh, it'll probably take one or two people less than a half an hour. It doesn't take very long. It's sure. a simple, it's a simple, it's just putting in some screws. That's all you'll need to do. So don't be uh, fearful of that. You can easily do it, and like I said, in less than an hour by yourself. It's easy. Uh, and, and then once you get it set up, remember you can move it. So if, if it's a gorgeous day and you want to bring it outside for your barbecue and you want to utilize that, you can put a big cutting board on the top of this. Sure. What a great prep table. Uh, if you want to use it inside, maybe you've got a kitchen area, but you could use some prep area for that. What about when you have holidays, right? And you want to do, maybe you're doing a St. Patty's Day buffet and you're thinking, boy, it sure would be nice to have a place to put plates and cups and glasses, uh, you know, or, or uh, for folks to just come up and serve themselves. That would be ideal for that. I think it's uh, great hey, for that. And as you go throughout the season, what, 4th of July, you could put all your picnic stuff out there. Perfect. Your burger rolls and all your plates and all that stuff. I mean, it's such an extra, uh, a great space to be able to set up very easily and very quickly when you are entertaining. And then when you're done, at the end of the day, hey, if you want to pop this in the shed or put it around the corner of the house, cover it, whatever, you're good to go. Yeah, that, that's the big thing. You have that extra space, that extra piece of furniture, that extra counter space if you wanted it, that extra serving space, but it's portable. You can fold it up, and that's the big difference. Certainly, this would be great if it didn't fold up, but it wouldn't have as many uses. It meant, is the much of the advantage that you have because you can fold it up and you can put it back in the garage. Guy, do you want to you want to show how that folds yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Let's walk around so we'll, here we'll again. We'll there show everybody. Again because so it's very so simple. easy. Yeah. It even has the little. It, ha it says a little sticker there, and it just says lift to fold. So all you're going to do is lift up mm -hmm. that brace right there. And guy, you've done the other one. Yep. And then you just fold it up. it up. It's that easy. You just can do like it that. by yourself. I mean, yeah. we're doing it together. But you can do this by yourself, and as you show, showed everyone earlier, you can pick it up by yourself and put it in the garage, and then when it's time to use it again, you want to use it as a you serving just piece, unfold it you out. just unfold it, all you and do, then just make it. sure those braces mm -hmm. lock in place, you just push those down, and you're set to go. Mm -hmm. But I think as a serving piece, it's going to be amazing. You're going to use this if you entertain even once during the whole spring and summer, it's going to be perfect because it looks great plenty of room, a buffet table, buffet server like you talked about. You know what it is? It's Amazing. one of those things like if you went to somebody's, like if I came over to your house, Pete, and I saw this out on the patio. Mm, maybe. We, okay. No, you've invited me Keep over going with the times. story. I'm very busy, so I can't make most of the <laughs> events over there. But when you go, if I went to your house, I saw this, I would say, that's really cool. Yeah. And, and you would think almost like, wow, did you have somebody make this for you? I mean, it has that look, Absolutely. like a little custom pa a piece of furniture. And it's these little touches, like the little, it, we call, it's called the outdoor potting bench, but you can use it indoors. These are the little touches that takes a house and makes it into a home. The little things that soften it. We were talking about landscape lighting before, but you see something like this, and whether it's decorated with, you know, your your, your plateware or whatever, or whether you've got it set up for a party, or if it's just sitting uh, on a side with some pictures on it, or if you've got it like, you know, in, in your yard somewhere near your pool, where you've got it set up for that, you know, as, an, as a refreshment center or a gardening center. It, it's just that extra touch. I think so. And if you have something this, maybe you won't hesitate to entertain. Maybe you'll entertain more because now you have the space. You have something nice. Maybe you can get rid of that plastic card table that you normally use next to the barbecue grill or for the serving space. Something that looks this good, you'll probably be entertaining more because it does impress. All right. Well, here's, here it is. And free shipping today. If you buy it, and that's substantial. What's it? About 20 bucks to ship. I think that's what it says. 19 something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so take advantage of it and get it home on Flex Day. All right. Peter and I, are we taking a break? Oh, we're going to go to our spotlight. We come back. Pressure washer. Everybody should have their own, don't borrow, your own pressure washer. Coming up next.